Hello everyone, Mike Mixon from KeyboardAmerica.com here in Lewis Beach, Delaware. Welcome to this week's Geno CVP Tyros and Keyboard Song of the Week and Buttons class. Now this is a remake from Tyros. It was a request and uh, Beauty and the Beast is our song. Now in refreshing myself, I went back and looked at the video from Tyros and we have made so many improvements with the music and sending out the files and the overhead view that I have now that we did some great great songs during the Tyros period so please you can request a redo from Tyros to Genos either on my comments section each week on the videos or by just sending me an email. And of course we're sending out the MIDI file now so a lot of things you can do with that. So uh, let's get a quick look at the music for Beauty and the Beast. Okay, so for all you guys that are in my book bundles, we're in Bank 12, registration number 4, and this is coming out of Book Bundle 1. Now, Genos, Tyros, and CVP, we're looking at the Animation Ballad, Tempo 75, Intro 3, Variation A to start with, and remember to hold the red notes down on the chords so that you get to the next chord and you learn how to play chords like a pro. Okay, so for any of you who do not have my book bundles, on OTS1 I have the CFX Concert Grand Volume 127. OTS2, I've got the CFX Concert Grand 127 and the DX Production which is an electric piano sound at 90. OTS3, I have two Kino strings warm on right one and right two. The volumes are 180, and I have a glockenspiel on right three, volume 50. On OTS4, we've got Symphony Horns, volume 116, and Kino strings one octave at 70. Four. So you guys with the Genos, you can just load this style, Beauty and the Beast, and that'll be all set up for you. Now keep in mind, I will be recording the MIDI file, which will give you all the grace notes that I play on the screen as soon as I go to the music there. Uh, so that'll uh, help you <clears throat> uh, with a little effort uh, for your right hand, getting a little better with your right hand as well. And of course, uh, keep in mind that if you learn how to play my chords like a pro, you're going to do just great. Okay, so let's listen to the finished product here and uh, try and pay attention to when I'm making the chord changes. That's going to be pretty important on here and making your variation changes.
Okay, so a little Beauty and the Beast, and in case you didn't notice there, I was battling some pretty uh, aggressive flies there when I was trying to play. I tried to get them all, but didn't get done. So you'll be getting the mini file emailed out to you, of course, the custom music, and I hope you paid attention to the chords and the chord changes and my fingering in there. And that'll all be on the music for you. And of course, with the MIDI file, you can either just turn off track one and play over top of it while I do the uh, chord changes for you. Or you can play over top of it. Um, you can do a lot of things with that MIDI file that really makes it help. And of course, you can listen to the song over and over again. And all the grace notes I put on the, uh, that I played during the song are on the score there for you as well. So that's very helpful. So until next time, this is Mike Mixon from KeyboardAmerica.com saying have a great day, keep playing, and see you next week.